Hey guys, it's Glitch Brothers here. I'm coming out with a new video, and I've decided to do a Minecraft survival guide. And this is made for all of you guys who haven't played Minecraft before, you're new at it, and you don't know anything about it. And I'm going to tell you how to start from day one and go all the way to killing the, the Ender Dragon. First off here, I'm just trying to collect these cocoa beans, but it's just a waste of time. And I just give up. And the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to look for a village. Most people don't look for a village, but I'm going to. Because at every village, there's a blacksmith there. And at the blacksmith, there's a chest, and it's full of iron, maybe some iron boots or iron chest plate. And I want that iron stuff right now. And since this is the Xbox version, the, map, the maps are pretty small. They're not huge. They're not infidev, I guess you would call it, but yeah. And so it's easy, it's pretty easy to find a village. It's not as easy to find a village on the computer version. So if you're playing on the computer version, I suggest you just start collecting some wood. And here I come up to the village and I see the blacksmith house. It's the one with the furnaces up front. I look in the chest and I grab the stuff inside. And I got one iron ingot, three bread, and two iron boots. So it was, it was decent. It wasn't the best, but it was decent. Okay, now, now that I got the, um, the iron and stuff, I'm looking for a farm in the village. Usually they have some wheat, and that can help me with my food. And I don't have very much luck looking for the wheat. So I'm just going to start collecting some wood. Because wood is basically the base of every tool you can make. Or everything pretty much you can make. There's some things that you don't need wood in. But there's a lot of stuff you need wood for. So it's important to have a lot of wood. So I'm just going to collect some wood. I'm trying to get a full stack of wood, which would be 64 blocks of wood. And the fastest way to collect wood is to make an axe. Here, I just made a wooden axe. I'm going to start collecting some wood. Okay, so here I'm just collecting some more wood. And I'll explain what the bread's for. So, in this game, the more you run around, the more things you do, the more mining you do, the more stuff you do, the more hunger you get. And how you tell how much hunger you have is by the meat things right next to your hearts over my hot bar. And they turn dark once you run out, and the less meat things you have, the more hungry you are, and the more important it is to, for you to eat. And so, to refill my hunger, I eat the bread, obviously. And so here I'm coming up to the snowy biome. In my opinion, it's the best place to live. There's lots of wood around. There's lots of chickens, lots of pigs, but it's just my It doesn't really matter where you live, but I just like living in the snowy pile. So here I'm just collecting more, more wood. And if, if you're playing a lot while you watch this, you don't have to collect all 64 blocks of wood. I just think it's handy to have a ton of wood on hand, so I don't have to go out my or collecting wood again 
just so I can make another axe or another sword or something. Okay, so I'm just gonna skip through all the wood part, wood collecting part, and here I have almost all the wood I need. I have about 55 points of wood, or blocks of wood, and I just need, um, like, nine more. And I collect these nine more pretty fast. I just need three more blocks of wood. Okay, I have enough wood right now. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to look for place where I'm going to dig inside of a mountain so that's where I'm going to sleep for the night and I'm just looking around and I see this spot it's close to water and water will be useful eventually in the game and so I'm just going to take my hole right next to the water and so the whole idea is just so you can be safe during the night. It's not a place to stay permanently, it's just a place to sleep and just be safe. And in order to break that gray stuff, which is stone, you need to make a pickaxe. And if you're on the Xbox version, it tells you how to make a pickaxe basically. But if you're playing on the computer version, you can look it up on the look it up on the internet if you're wondering. And I'm just making a little tiny room for me to stay in. And I want to make it big enough so I can make stairs down into the ground so I can make a mine sort of thing. And in the ground you find resources such as iron ore, gold ore, redstone, coal, and if we're really lucky we'll find some diamonds. And once once we find all those I'll explain what they do and how we can use them. And I think right and so right now, I want to put my crafting table into my room. And I'm sorry if I didn't explain how to make a crafting table and what a crafting table does. What it does basically is it makes it so you can make all your tools just in that crafting box. And you can make everything you'll need to make with that crafting box. And... Right here, I make, I made, I just made a furnace, and a furnace can cook food. It, if you burn wood with wood, you can make charcoal, and with that charcoal, you can burn more wood to make more charcoal. And what charcoal does is it can make torches, which provide light, and they also can cook. It, they also can cook food. So here I'm just expanding my house, and when when you're cooking something in the furnace, it makes a light. So I don't need any torches right now until the furnace burns out. So I'm just expanding my room, and right here I find coal. That black stuff is coal. And that coal does everything charcoal can do. It makes um, it makes torches. It can cook food. Just coal you find in the ground, charcoal you make. So if you can't find coal on your first day, you can just make charcoal. And so here I'm just collecting the coal. And in order to collect coal, you need to use a stone pickaxe, which is just the same thing as making a wooden pickaxe, just instead of using wooden planks, you use stone, and just the problem with 
having coal right inside my hidey hole or my hobbit my hobbit house is now there's a gigantic crater in the side of my house which I'll I'll fix later. Right now I'll just put a torch inside so no monsters can spawn in there. And I'm just finishing expanding the rest of my room. And then I'm going to start making my mess. Which is pretty st simple. You just make steps down and you just keep on making steps until you hit bedrock. Bedrock is basically the last layer in the Minecraft world and you can't break bedrock and it just indicates you're at the bottom of the world and we can use bedrock as a guide for which layer we want to dig at and there's certain layers that are more abundant with resources so they have more resources and they're easier to find diamonds. And I'll explain what diamonds do once we find some. And I'm just digging some steps. If you're new at this game, steps can be kind of tricky at first, but you'll get used to them. And sorry, it kind of gets dark during when I'm making steps. Oh, my next video I'll remember to turn up the brightness so it's easier to see. Okay, so right now I'm just collecting stone and when you break stone it turns into cobblestone just to indicate that you broke the stone I guess. I don't really know why but I just wanted to make it more realistic. So I'm collecting cobblestone right now and not really having much luck. I don't find any iron. But what I'll tell you what we can do with the cobblestone. You already know that we can make pickaxes with cobblestone. We also can make stone shovels, we can make stone swords, stone hose. We can make it's stone is really easy to find it's everywhere basically so we're probably going to build our house once we're going to build our house we're going to build it out of cobblestone unless if we can find a good amount of wood we might make a nice looking house out of wood and i'm just going to keep on mining and i don't make it to bedrock this video but in my next video, I will make it to bedrock and we'll start mining in layer 16, which is where a lot of diamonds are, a lot of iron is, and I'm pretty sure there's lots of coal. And I'll explain what iron does and coal does. Well, I guess we already found coal, so I explained to you what coal does, but I'll explain to you what diamonds and redstone and coal I mean iron and gold do once I find them and right here I just broke my pick and each each tool you make it has health and depending on what kind of materials you make it out of depend um, determines on how much health it has so if I had an iron pick and a cobblestone pick and I was using both of the picks, the cobblestone pick would break faster than my iron pick. And I want to say thanks for watching and subscribe.